So hole number six, it all depends where the tee box is. The last two days, the tee box were quite in front. So you, then you can either um, any iron off the tee, usually either two or four iron. And then you would add anything around about 160 to 140 meters in, all depends on where the flag is, because it's a quite big green. And the last two days I had nine iron in both days. And there's Ryan's shot on the way in to the sixth hole, battling the wind. Oh, setting up himself a nice opportunity for birdie. Which he duly converts. Well played all. Moving nicely to three under. Big smile on his face. Jason Frenneman trying to save from the bunker. He's done very, very well. Peter Wilson, all the way from the UK. Got his uh, European senior tour card. Closing that one up to the hole. Unfortunately, inch or two short. He'll tap in for par. He must be liking this weather. Jason, seeing if that bunker shot can be converted into par, which he's done very, very nicely. Neil, chipping for birdie. Unfortunately, not judging that one too well. Fritz Aron has got a very lengthy putt here. And also, with the wind from the front a bit short, Francois just misjudging that a little bit, didn't break as much. Taps in for his paw. Doesn't look too happy at this stage, but doing okay. Neil now, unfortunately, rams that one through the break. And that'll be a three putt bogey. Fritz now, try and save the paw, a little bit of a waggle, out of the bottom hole, he takes it. Big smile there. Tenio Nell, strong boy, hopefully he can battle the wind and he's done quite nicely, leaving himself a decent birdie putt. Another senior player, Neil Cheatham, Sunshine, senior tour, also doing quite well, experiencing his experience helping him there, leaving himself a possibility for birdie, which he converts very nicely. Older generation showing the youngsters how it's done. Here we have one of our left-handers, Ricky Endler putting from the fringe. Oh, and he gave that a good run. Should be able to clean that up for par. She duly does. So all into wind is tough today. Guys will take it. Tyrion with a good chance for birdie. Fortunately, just pulling that one a little bit left at all. But also an easy par. Richard trying for his birdie. Fortunately, the wind causing that one to come up a bit short. Gonna walk away with the par. Horn from Deventer. Nice posture. Hoping that one breaks a bit. Unfortunately, wind not pushing that one in. Cozies it up and taps in for his par. Moving along. Keegan, after a very tough chip over the bunker, rams that one in for par. What a good save that was. He'll be very happy with that after a tough chip shot that he had left himself. Albert Fenter, also another strong wind player. Fortunately, not judging the wind too well there, coming up short, leaving a monster. Birdie putt. Clayton, hoping to improve on Albert. Unfortunately not. He, uh, might be able to help Albert with the line there. Matt Suarez after seeing those, I'm sure he'll be taking a bit more club. Not, didn't learn much from those two. It's also come up way short. Very long birdie putt. All 
the way up against the wind, taking the slope, coming up two or three feet short. Clayton, this is a very long putt. Getting up close and two putting is a bonus. He's improved on that and he's knocked it straight into the bottom of the hole. <laughs> That's a bonus. He'll be very happy with that. Hopefully, Albert has learned from the, the previous two. Unfortunately, coming up short or oh, lipping out there. He's going to be not very happy with the three putt on that green. Matt, after seeing that, would have to clean up. And he does that nice and solidly. Didn't let, let the other putts affect these. Well done, young man. Gerard also battling the wind here on the six hole. Seems like a very popular spot that today. These guys against the wind. Strong boy Quinton Olsnach, hopefully he's got the power to get it up there to the pin. Which he is duly has done, taking it over the flag. Fortunately, wet green's not spinning too much. Luke, after getting very lucky and flying the green in second, not ending up in the road, almost chips that one in. That would have been one hell of a birdie from there. Here we have you out with a long birdie attempt, like most of the players today on this hole. Fortunately, coming up at short. Luke, what a sand save he made there from behind the green. Be very happy and now with a four shot lead. And here out, unfortunately, ramming that par putt through the break. He's going to walk away with a bogey after a three putt on this green. Not what he wanted. Quinton, the missing his birdie, taps in for par. Unfortunately, now four behind the leader.